Coming up on Mountain News this morning, as more positive cases of COVID-19 are discovered in Kentucky, we talked with a testing lab about the process. And we go to Pike County, where officials with Pikeville Medical Center are preparing for the potential spread of COVID-19 to Eastern Kentucky. And at Perry County, one clinic is working to make sure people still get the care they need without stepping a foot in the clinic. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. The time is now six o'clock and I'm Lacey Roberts. Thank you for joining us on Mountain News this morning. It is Friday, March 20th and the first full day of spring and we are seeing those spring like temperatures, which I am loving. Mm -hmm. And you said that, you know, this weekend they might go away, but there's light at the end of the tunnel for them coming back. Listen, it's it's <laughs> it's a roller coaster ride and we've been saying that for months now and it's about the only way I can describe it because it's down temperatures, it's up temperatures, it's down temperatures. So again, it's not cold temperatures. It's just based basically either 50s or 60s or 70s close to 80 and this morning it is very mild but first let's talk about the rain here at six o'clock and there's quite a bit of it moving through here in our first line of the day and you can see that extending from Moorhead down into parts of eastern Kentucky and then all the way down into parts of Tennessee so again be aware of that this morning some heavy bands of rain moving through so take it easy if you're hitting the roads here in just a few minutes temperatures in the 60s and 70s as you head out the door this morning we're going to continue to see that to there as we head deeper into the day kind of right there uh, stabilizing into the mid 70s or the low 70s there across parts of the region. So we're going to continue to watch that and keep you posted on that as we head deeper into the day. Winds are really cranking this morning out of the south there. You'll see anywhere between um, no, no wind at all and then 24 mile an hour wind gusts or actually wind speed, consistent wind speed down there in Wise County. 65 this morning, give or take a degree or two, maybe four or five because the temperatures have not cooled off as much as we expected them to. 72 this afternoon with chances for scattered showers and storms around throughout the day and into the night. We'll have the extended forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Lacey. Thank you, Brandon. And here in the bluegrass, officials are still working to contain the spread of the virus. With thousands of businesses forced to shut down and schools closing their doors, many Kentuckians are self-isolating at home. Yesterday, Governor Andy Bashir announced the state's second death in Jefferson County, along with 12 new cases. One of those new cases is the first in our viewing area. A 59-year-old woman in Pulaski County tested positive for the virus. Now, we are told Pulaski County officials have scheduled a news conference for today at noon. And the state of Tennessee announced more than 50 new cases of coronavirus in the span of just 24 hours. This map shows those affected areas. There are now 156 confirmed coronavirus cases in the volunteer state. Wednesday, there were 101. The yellow areas are counties that were already dealing with COVID-19 cases, while the red areas show five new counties reporting positive tests. Nashville and its suburbs remain the epicenter for the outbreak, making up 113 of those cases. And in his daily news conference, Governor Andy Bashir continues to say there will be more positive cases of the novel coronavirus, and this is because more laboratories are becoming available as testing sites. WYMT's Will Puckett talked with the CEO of one of those private labs. Monday was the first day Gravity Diagnostics started testing for COVID-19. Monday was the first day Gravity Diagnostics started testing for COVID-19. We received that over the weekend, so we believe we're probably one of a few labs outside of the big ones you read about in the newspaper across the country that are providing this testing. Gravity is a private lab company. They have done upper respiratory testing before, but the call to assist in the global coronavirus pandemic carried a hefty price tag. It was a big decision and, um, to take the risk of, you know, bankrupting the company, I guess, you know, ordering, you know, I guess we probably ordered a half million dollars worth of stuff at this point wow. that, you know, is a risk for a company our size. But money was not going to hold them back. Monday, they started with just a few tests, and each day they test more and more samples. We've done about 70 or so coronavirus uh, samples already this week. Remington says the process is fairly straightforward. From a FedEx or UPS delivery, the samples are taken straight into their lab, and there begins a multi-step process. I would say there's like five steps to that process, and, and then we usually give that result either through an online portal that's HIPAA compliant or a HIPAA compliant fax or something like that, depending on the customer's 
um, requirements to request. While HIPAA restrictions prevent them from releasing how many positive tests that have come through their labs. You know, I wish we could, you know, get every sick person that needs this test tested. And so what, that's what we're fighting for is just how many, you know, we look at any positive sample we get as a way to save a life. You know? so they continue to work towards finding a way to get as many results back as possible. Will Puckett, WYMT Mountain News. Now, Gravity Diagnostics is licensed in all 50 states. However, they are processing tests currently from Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, West Virginia, and Virginia. Baptist Health in Corbin has postponed elective surgeries for 30 days. That decision was made by the American College of Surgeons, the U.S. Surgeon General, and Governor Andy Bashir. The reason was to conserve medical supplies and hospital resources. Another to continue social distancing as the number of cases across the nation continue to climb. If it's truly elective, in other words, there's no risk after 30 days, no increased risk, then that needs to be delayed and everybody needs to be patient. And this is a 30-day moratorium right now, so this is going to be revisited based on where we are 30 days from. Yesterday, Pike County Judge Executive Ray Jones hosted a news conference with representatives from the Pike County Health Department and Pikeville Medical Center. PMC Infectious Disease Specialist Dr. Fadi Alkas and Pike County Public Health Director Tammy Morris Riley stressed the importance of social distancing as the best preventative method against COVID-19. They say the county still has not seen a confirmed case of the virus, adding that PMC is prepared either way. I wish it's not going to happen here, but let's be prepared for that. And I think we're prepared at this point to be able to manage these problems here in this area. Officials urge people to consider staying in the county as much as possible and to avoid bringing the virus in. With all the talk about social distancing, one medical facility created a way to see patients and comply with those standards. WYMT's Madison program has more on a new drive through clinic right here in Hazard. As restaurants and businesses shut down, one place you might not be able to avoid is the doctor's office. So you just need refills on your medicines today. Yeah. Anything new going on with you since you were here the last time? But primary care is making it easy for some of you to make that appointment you dread. We have had several patients that have called and that are afraid to come into the clinic to be seen because they have underlying health problems or just they're afraid in general. Um, so we tried to come up with a way that we could continue to see those patients so that they're getting assessed. Implementing the idea of a drive through clinic. The process is pretty simple you just pull through this tent where they can take your blood pressure and temperature right from the comfort of your car. Checking vitals, filling prescriptions, and even able to do lab work. I'm going to take a listen to you. Denton Groves used the drive through clinic to better protect him and his wife. You know, I've got bad lungs and my wife, she needs to come pretty bad and uh, we thought this would be safer. Can you take a big breath with your mouth open? You come in contact with less people for one big thing. Adjusting to the new circumstances. This is a wonderful um, opportunity for them to be able to follow what the recommendations are with social distancing and still have their health care needs met. While keeping everyone healthy as possible, one car at a time. All right, you're welcome. In Hazard, Madison Program, WYMT Mountain News. Now, the average visit at the drive through clinic is 10 to 12 minutes, and if you would like to go to the drive through clinic, you can call and make an appointment at a primary care clinic. ARH announced yesterday that pharmacies are now offering curbside pickup, and they urge people to call ahead to a ranger pharmacy to do this. A new normal across the region as COVID-19 concerns grow. County governments shift how they're doing business. WYMT's Buddy Forbes talked to Floyd County Clerk's Office about its drive through service. The Floyd County Courthouse has closed its doors to most foot traffic. We're just trying to limit, the, limit that face-to-face -face exposure. But the clerk's office is still working for the people. We are doing full service through the drive through Using the drive through county workers can continue to serve in a safe way, offering all services usually provided inside. Uh, Chris Wall had the vision to do that years ago, and uh, we're just, we just want folks to know they can actually come from other counties and use our drive through The drive through sees little interaction on a normal basis, but is now being used to its full potential, keeping services open during the COVID-19 scare. 
trying to provide some sense of normalcy in unsure times. We've had customers, you know, several customers from all over come in, and we're just trying to really serve this county the best way we can. And the community is taking advantage of the option. When it's actually been a success at this time right now. Which employees say could also prove helpful when things get back to normal. For a lot of people don't know, you know, that's out there. So, you know, in a time like this, we're hoping to encourage people to actually use it in the, you know, in the future. A future they're working toward. Uh, we just need to get this behind us. The more people that conform and do what we ask today, the quicker we're going to get through this. One day at a time. In Floyd County, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. Officials say the Betsy Lane office is offering curbside assistance and the McDowell office is operating with one-on-one -on -one limited access. Heavier bands of rain starting to move into the mountains right now. Live pinpoint Doppler radar showing those. And if you take a look down to the western and northern parts of the area, it's coming down pretty good there from Moorhead down the line toward London and down toward Monticello. So again, all of us are going to be seeing that this morning. If you're heading out soon, be extra careful. Temperature is very mild this morning, almost summer-like instead of spring-like, even though it's the first full day of spring today. 68 in Jonesville, 64 in Somerset, a little rain cooled air there, but 69, 70, 71, 72 across parts of the area this morning. So a very mild start to the day. Cold front comes through today. Could bring some stronger storms at times. We will see again the clearing skies and cooler conditions for tomorrow and then some late chances on Sunday. So yeah, that face is just like really more, but uh, there it is for you. And we'll have the extended forecast in just a little bit. Lacey. Thank you, Brandon. And thank you for joining us on Mountain News this morning. More news is on the way. As the economic impact of the coronavirus spreads, unemployment claims have soared to their highest level since 2017. We'll break down those numbers.